When you hear of a kid going missing, you always fear the worst, like we did with Belle. I bet that I give the little sods a right good hiding. Mm. Wasn't their fault. Debbie had them hid over at her place. She never. You better not be winding me up. They wouldn't come home because she filled their heads full of nightmares about their dad's murdering girlfriend. She knew they were safe all along. Are you those poor little lads? Paul Cameron, more like. His ex almost bust his eardrum, she was that upset. He's had to take them both home. Well, you can't blame her. So if it was trouble that Debbie was after, then you can tell her from me, job done. Don't you dare give me evils. I didn't put her up to this. You put her up to most things. Look, if anyone had done that to know, I'd rip the reds off. And anyway, Deb's won't have done it on purpose. She'll have a perfectly reasonable explanation for it, won't you, babe? White wine, please. Rosé, do you? <gasps> Bitch! Oh, I hadn't finished that. I'll get you another. You will get her an apology. Assault, that is. She'll do no such thing. Debbie Dingle, you should be ashamed of yourself. Listen! I have my ex's kids around for tea. What is the big deal? The big deal is you're playing head games with a couple of kids and you're proud of it. You're sick. Right, you home now. Get off me.